Hi guys! <laughs> so we're going to do something just a bit random because that's what we do. And we are going to share some of the plushy collection because we're in our new vlogging room. And there's a lot of plushies in here. It is. Yeah. Shall I start with the most obvious one? I'm just going to randomly get into it because there's a few in here. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> there are also a few not in here. But I think maybe I haven't unpacked them yet. So there might be a second part to this video when I find them. But we'll start with the obvious. Mr. Mickey Mouse. He's caught. I love him. He, he is, is from Orlando. And I know this because when I got him he did have his tag on his ear. However, I didn't actually get him from Orlando. I actually found him at a car boot sale for £5 with a Minnie Mouse. And that is how I know that there are some unpacked because I don't have mini Mouse right now. But yeah, he is a good size. He's huge. He's huge. Mickey mind. doesn't have his stamp. But, as I said, when I got him, he did have his tag. Sorry, he had hold of my armour. Um, however, I did give him a bit of a clean up. He smelled a bit funny. He did. But he's huge and I love him. And of course, he's the main mouse. And when we're not sat on this sofa, he sits and looks after it for us. And, and make sure all the others behave. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how we're going to put this back together when we're done. Carl had to do it in the first place. So, who do we have? Should I just work along? Yeah. I have a tiny Mickey Mouse ball that's hugging me. Let me shuffle around. So, next, showing her panties, that's not very ladylike. I have a Christmas Disney Store 2016 Minnie Mouse. She basically tricked me because I believe if you placed an order, she was nine ninety nine instead of nineteen ninety nine. So, oops. So there we go. And I actually love her little tartan skirt and her little tartan bow. It's so cute. She sits right up there. And then we have. It's a claw Hauser, who I think you might have seen in a weekly vlog. Yeah, I think you got a delivery. I did. And he also tricked me. Do you know when we got when I got him? He came to join us when the Beauty and the Beast stuff was out. Because he was on sale for five pounds. I think it was like four ninety nine. And he has his little genuine Disney store. He's so soft. That's my favourite thing about Disney plushies. They are right. They are like legitimately soft he sits just up there next to the beast because although i do want to point out this one he is so awesome and i actually got him just after my birthday with some birthday money and it was the weekend that we went up to watford ish and we watched Beauty and the Beast the live action with Steffi and Dave from The Adventure Zoo. So we actually went into Watford shopping and they have a real Disney store where you go and walk around, which is amazing. Are they opening the one in Bristol again? They are opening one in Bristol again, but our nearest one is currently two hours away. Or even Bristol would be two hours away. Before that, it was like Cardiff, probably three, Cardiff or Southampton. So a bit of a way from us down here in sunny Torbay. So I went into an actual Disney store and I picked up the beast and I love him and he's very soft. You've still got the price on. Yes, I do. He was $23.99. Most of them should still have their tags actually. Um, Officer Clawhauser originally was $18.95. I said he came in a sale and I said she was $9.99. But she would have been $19.99. I think if you spent over so much, she was $9.99. So then you can show your beast. Okay. I to get my bus home I have to wait near the arcades and I put twenty feet in the machine on one of this. <laughs> he's, obviously he's not an official Disney one. But you're twenty P and, and he, comparatively doesn't look too bad. His jacket's nowhere near as soft. <laughs> just just stroking back, them off. I would take it back. But we were literally just sat looking at them and saying, actually, for a twenty P toy. Well, the arcade toys are yeah. the best, really. They're they? not normally the best, but 
he's not too bad. So you can probably tell we have the um, Secret Life of Pets collection, but they're all just arcade ones. They're also all falling. Such a bomb. Okay, off you go, Mr. Beast. Basically, when we've trashed this later, I'll have to make Carl come back in and tidy them all back up. Maybe we should have filmed this video last. Maybe. It's fine. And while I was at the Disney store buying Beast, I also had to get Champ! Mostly because just before Christmas, I think. I think so. I bought Lady and she needed Trump. It was weird having like Lady without Trump. So yeah. But it was very nice getting to walk around and like actually pick up which plushie. I'm just wondering to touch her ears. She's oh. so her nose. Is like, I remember you were sat on the sofa when you <gasps> weren't feeling so well with a stroke and I know it was like, this makes me feel better. Yeah, they're so, so soft. Again, Disney Store official stamp on his foot and I think hers is on her back paw maybe. Yes. Yes. And he was 19.99. And so was she. And they're adorable and they need to live together. Which obviously is why they're sat together up there. And then, yeah, do yours. And then I've only got one more. I don't collect plushies, but you if you've watched our Paris vlogs, you'll have seen that I got a little bit obsessed with this Cheshire cat because he is adorable. He is he nice. He lies. And he's still got his tag on because <laughs> he literally just sits on top of my wardrobe and looks at me and it makes me happy because of his cute face. But he was 19 euros, 99 cents. And you got him as a birthday present, didn't you, from Sam? It was half birthday, half well done, you actually went on a ride. Which ties quite nicely into my last one. Sorry, I have a hair on my neck. Oh, he smells like incense. Yes, yes he does. Incense oh, and not wax my last melt. one, I have two more up there. <laughs> incense and wax melts, basically my room. I can't even remember when I bought Sven, but he used to sit in the bathroom. I was a bit obsessed <laughs> It gave with me a heart attack. Sometimes I like to do random things to freak her out. But Sven was one I was going to buy when we were in Paris, so I think I got Sven at the same time as Lady. He's got a rose gold bow, but... Oh, that didn't come on there. That's I clipped say. that off. <laughs> right now he's rocking a Ted Baker rose gold bow because he was looking after that for me. Um, but yeah, he, I think I was going to get him when we went to Paris and I think I ended up not because I became a bit obsessed with Stitch while we were out there. Um, who you've probably seen in the vlogs because he goes everywhere. He, he comes everywhere. He is my buddy. Um, and he was a reward for going on all the rides. And I love him. He's so soft. He does not smell like incense and wax melts. No. Um, and he was €25.99, but again, Carl bought him for me for going on the rides because I was being a wuss. But I did them, so I was brave, and I got to each. Which is good, because I think if you actually watch Disneyland Paris vlogs, the first thing that me and Becca did was go in the, one of the Disney shops, didn't we, in Disney Village. And I showed her the stitch, and I think I showed you guys, and I said, I really want him, he will be coming home at some point. And then I think the second, like the day before the last day, I then eventually got him. She is nodding behind Stitch is dancing. But yeah, so then when we got back, I ordered Sven on the Disney Store website, which I was glad I did it that way because Stitch had been taken off at that point. I don't know if he's on there now or not. They seem to come on and go off. But yeah, so we have Sven with his little harness and his little wonky hit, um, antler. And Sven was 18.95, and he's so soft. The only thing I would say with Sven, the others you can like sit up or stand up. Sven's kind of awkward. That's why he was stood in the bathroom. Yeah, um, it's okay in here because he has a nice little spot in the corner that he can stand on, but he can be a bit of an awkward one to stand in places. But I don't care because he's adorable. And I have a bit of an unhealthy obsession with growing. I have one. And these are just the ones that I've unpacked so far. You have one. I bought you this for Christmas, but it's a 
And we have a mini somewhere, but I haven't unpacked it. Oh no, this yet. one's Carl's. Yeah. Because I bought them a mini and a Mickey. Yeah. Back under Max's chin. And surprisingly, the dog hasn't stolen them yet. I thought she would have, because they're ball shaped. Yes. But anyway, so that's our random Disney plushie collection part one. When we find the other <laughs> Disney plushies, we will She'll film do a part, part two. two. I've got one. Oh. Anyway. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up let us know if you have a disney plushie collection and who your favorite is and we'll see you next time bye guys <laughs>